This week on Scam School, you'll look like an astronomical genius, but secretly be dumb and drunk and alone at the bar. Don't judge me. Toast me, you beautiful yeah, people. Yeah, Boom. Yeah, Back at the Moon Tower Saloon, we've got Alex and Caitlin, Caitlin and of course Shane. Good yeah, to see you again. Back. The other day, I was walking to the outhouse and I was struck by radioactive lightning. And in one blinding burst, I realized that all of humanity is made of stardust. And now I have the talent to instantly know for all of this year, 2017, you name a date and I'll tell you what the celestial bodies are up to. Name, name a date, name a date. March 14th. March 14th, 2017. I'm gonna say that is a waning gibbous. Okay. It's mostly full, but it's on its way out. What's your date? I'm November 3rd. November 3rd, November 3rd is a full moon. What's yours? January 2nd. January 2nd is uh, almost a half moon. It's on its way to being a half moon. Okay. All right, so everybody go to moonpage.com, punch in your dates. What was my prediction? You said waning gibbous. And? It's a waning gibbous. Waning gibbous, shut, dude, dude, dude. That's one, that's one for one. Wow. I'm genius, and? Full. Full moon, just like I said, I said full moon, boom. And? 18.8% .8 full, almost half. Waxing moon, I said waxing it was moon. waxing moon. Waxing moon. Wa it was waxing, almost, almost waxing half. before half. All right, here's the amazing part. This trick only works this year. The next time will be like a, a decade in the future. But do you guys want to know how you can instantly know the phases of the moon? Of I do. Yeah. All right, well then Pretend. toast me. You got to toast, toast, toast. Well, we'll do. Yeah. Well, toast. That. Toast. This was more challenging than I expected, but it is a <laughs> lot of fun. This was sent in by a friend of ours named Scott Cram, who runs the Gray Matters blog, and he pointed out that 2017 is a particularly easy year for us to figure out the phases of the moon. I'm gonna give you one main rule and then two exceptions. The main rule is take the number of the month and add it to the day, and that will give you how far along in the lunar cycle the moon is. Because you know there's, there's phases. There's new moon at zero, right? That's where you can't see the moon. Nothing. And then yeah. 14 days, you have a full moon, and then you're back to new moon again. So along the way, you have waxing crescent, half moon, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, half moon, and then waning crescent. crescent. The only exception is that the first two months are different. Instead of using one for January and two for February, you're gonna use three for January and four for February. Outside of that, you're good. Let's test it out, right? So imagine I gave you September 1st. You would add those together to get what number? It'd be nine and one is 10, right? Correct, and on a 10th day in a 28 day cycle, what would that look like? So it'd be before half moon, because that'd be, right, be right? waxing crescent, because we haven't hit half moon, no. No, we're past half moon. Half moon's at seven. So it would be? Waxing <laughs> gibbous. gibbous. September 1st, you said waxing gibbous? Waxing gibbous, right? Oh, yeah. waxing yeah. gibbous! All right, here, here, you pick a date. All right, August 4th. And what do you think it's gonna be on August 4th? I think so, waxing gibbous. By the way, this works plus or minus a day. Okay. So in general, I think it's helpful to not say it is exactly a full moon or whatever, but just, oh, I don't know, I'm getting an almost full moon, which is exactly what it was. All right, All right here, almost pick a date, 14. pick a date, okay. pick a okay. date. Okay. July 14th. July 14th. Shane, I'm gonna make you go. Okay, so that's 21 which is on the other half of 14. We're past a half, no. Yeah. Should be a half moon, a waning half moon. It says here, the waning moon's phase was 68% full. Okay. By the way, there is one trickaroo on here. Let's say somebody did something like November 30th. Yeah. So what you would do is if it's over 30, just subtract 30 from it. So on November 41 minus 30, 30, so yeah. that would be so 11. Be 11. Okay, so 11, which would be how far in there? Close to, it's almost a full moon. It's almost a full almost. moon. So, so in your psychic powers, you would I say. I felt like it was around a full moon. I'm not. Let's see, let's see. Oh, 90% full oh, moon! Nice. Dude, well. how easy is that, right? <laughs> okay. Is that amazing? It's, yeah. it's just math. All right, well, like, it's just math. It's just a little <laughs> bit of math. math. A little, it's bar math. Yeah, yeah, bar yeah, math and math. Math. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to give a huge thanks to Scott Cram of the Great Matters blog for bringing this to our attention. If you have a favorite bar scan, magic trick, or any way to look like the most smartest, intelligent person in the room, that's a science word, look it up. 
then hit me up at brian at shwood.com. And of course, we should be best friends over at twitter.com slash shwood. There is no seat in shwood. And don't forget to check out our newest adventure. Me and Jason Murphy, we're on a quest to become the ultimate gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel. Looks like this. Password with a zero for an O. Oh, sure. Okay. And yep, yep, yep. Star Wars or derivations of Star Wars, like use T4, Luke. I've never done that before. Yeah. <laughs> All I've right. I've never Let's... used a Star Wars related password. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, don't, don't judge me. Get, get out of my house. Go on. Go. 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 Get out of here. Get out of my house. <laughs> I just live here drinking all the time. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm getting an almost full moon.